thought it'd be fun to do a video review because I've got this really cool Bible, the NLT Illustrated Study Bible, um, which is the New Living Translation, uh, from Tyndall House that they have sent me to check out. And I love Bibles, as you guys well know. Um, I thought it would be fun to do the video because there's so many really cool features. This is what going to become a new favorite study Bible for me because it's almost like having a dictionary, an encyclopedia, atlases, everything that you need all in one place. Um, let me open it up here. It has a presentation page, of course, like most Bibles do. Um, let's see, and it's got and it's illustrated so it is in color it is full in color it's not black and white it, there is color to it they have the old testament in the contents and the new testament <coughs> <coughs> excuse me uh they divided it up or they didn't really divide it but they were showing you how it's divided up by um the pentateuch israel's history poetry and wisdom prophets of israel and then in the New Testament, the Gospels and Acts, the letters of Paul, and then the other letters. Um, which, because of how it's, they're in here, it, uh, at the bottom, this, the color coordination here, that these are all in, um, will come in handy. Because as you go through the Bible at the bottom, that color will be uh, highlighted for that section. So you know exactly where you're at. Anyways, here's the introduction. It's got lots of stuff and features. And so at the very beginning, it tells you how to study the Bible, how to use this Bible in your study time. Um, because there is a lot of uh, information in here. They've got a note to the readers, an introduction to the New Living Translation. So if you've never used the New Living Translation, you've got some information about that. Um, who it was that translated it, so you can see the translation team. Um, and then there's a timeline of biblical history, and I love timelines because I like putting things in order. So it, it shows you exactly where things happen and where it lied, lies in the entire history of the Bible. And it goes all the way through Israel's history and then where the kingdoms divide and, and the prophets. I mean, it, it covers a lot of information here. And I love that it's in color and I love the pictures. And then it's got these beautiful pictures where it divides the Old Testament. And of course, the Old Testament has some information about the Old Testament. It gives you information about where um, everything is happening so you have a better idea of what is going on and where and why it's happening. And then it talks about the Hebrew Old Testament and the English Old Testament. Um, what are the differences, that kind of thing. So it goes into great detail about the Old Testament itself. It then starts into the Pentateuch. And the Pentateuch, of course, is what the first five books of the Bible. Yes, the first five books of the Bible. I did go to Bible school, I promise. Um, I just couldn't remember. But I love that it's got the pictures around the top along with the verses. So it talks about the Pentateuch, um, the authors, and then each book gives you this, a beautiful picture which has something to do with that book. Um, information on the book, the setting, the history, um, the timeline's always at the bottom. And as you see at the top, see the color that's going to help di differentiate what part of the Bible you're in. So the Pentateuch is in the bluish color. So at the beginning of each one, you're going to have that blue is going to be the main color. And then it, this is the portion of scripture. This is study notes, commentary, that kind of thing. Here's your references. So it doesn't leave the references out. It's just move them to the side. Um, along with small notes at the very bottom, but this portion is all notes, commentary, background, history, um, word study, all of it. And then you've got these beautiful, like I said, pictures, and here it shows day one, day two, day three of creation, 
and shows you how they're divided up, which is really, really cool. It's very well pleasing to the eye. So now we're going to skip back because there's so much information. We're going to skip back and see there's the color for the prophets of Israel, just so you can see that. Um, I want to take you to the beginning of the New Testament so you can see how it divides up. We've got, and it starts off just like the Old Testament, but one of the things I like is right before it starts with the New Testament, it goes into some history because there's, I believe it was 400 years between the time of the Old Testament and the New Testament. And of course, a lot of things happen in Israel's history, but it, that is not included in the Bible. So it talks about that. It talks about the Maccabees and it gives you some background information before starting into the New Testament. Here's your New Testament. And then, of course, the New Testament, just like the Old Testament, it goes into some history. It gives you a setting, the background, um, all kinds of information, how it's divided. And that is a spot that I never noticed before. Okay, now it talks about the Gospels and Acts, because that's all together. And let's go over here, and then here we have the Gospel of Matthew. So again, it has your introduction, your settings, summaries, um, timelines, maps, everything is right where you want it to be. Here again is your scripture, your references, some of the notes. Here is commentary, study notes, etc. Um, here's a picture or charted genealogy of Jesus for visual people. Um, it's really, it really helps me because I'm a visual learner as well. And then you've got some history here, pictures, Herod the Great. So it, it explains a lot, gives you a lot of history. And I love history, as most of my readers know. So this Bible was made for me. Not specifically, but it feels like it. Because it definitely covers all kinds of information that I never thought about before. Um, I'm going to skip back here. Here we got Revelo Revelation and the Roman emperors that were alive. Um, at the end of Revelation, we get into the very back of this Bible. It has um, different, you know, you've got your salvation message, um, just images and, and references and just all kinds of really interesting information and it goes into this section called after the apostles what happens after the apostles and then it gives you a timeline of the things that happen um, since I homeschool we've talked a lot about that this year because um, we're using the mystery of history volume 2 as our spine for the year and we have just gone through the apostles and what has gone on. So this Bible actually came in at a great time because it actually helped clarify some things for us and for me personally. Um, talks about pillars of the Christian faith and then it goes into the reference section. It's got your table of ancient ways and measures and coins um, just like a lot of the Bibles do anymore. But it's also got Hebrew and Greek word studies which I really enjoy doing because I love breaking things down back down to the original to see if you can get the original meaning. Um, so you get Hebrew and Greek word studies, you've got features index, and I love how it uses the pictures on the side, and that's all in alphabetical order. Um, then you have the notes index, so if you read a note and you can't remember where it's at, you can go to the back and, and find that information, and that's a pretty long index. Just um, It also has a dictionary concordance, which you don't get with a lot of them, but this one does. It has a built-in dictionary concordance, and that's awesome because um, you don't want to have to buy an extra book. Not that they're not good, because I do have an extra, but I don't have a dictionary concordance for the New Living Translation. I only have it for um, the King James. So. Of course, this is all the image credits of all the pictures that were taken throughout the entire Bible, which is a lot of people. 
Um, so yeah, it ends on your dictionary concordance, your image credits. And then after the credits, you've got your uh, typical maps. But throughout the Bible, what I like is that it actually has maps built into each section. Um, so you can see these full color maps um, for that specific section. Without actually having to turn back to the back, these are great though for if you want to look in more detail. Um, and then it has your map index because there, like I said, there are some maps that are actually in the text itself. So um, it gives you page numbers for those. But this is a really, really cool Bible. It's becoming a favorite. I've been enjoying using it for study. Um, Tendo House really outdid themselves with this one. This is the hardback version. It does come in a leather as well. Um, and it's available pretty much anywhere books and Bibles are sold. But anyways, that's the New Living Translation Illustrated Study Bible. I, if you have a um, Bible lover like myself in your household or in your family, this would make a great Christmas gift. Um, they run about $40 and up depending on what you get. It's very heavy. This, like I said, is the hardback and it's very heavy. It does come on a leather, which is going to run you up more. Usually the leather will run up, depending on the type of leather, $10 or so more than the hardback. And then if it's indexed, it'll be an additional $10 on top of that. So if this is $44, you're looking at a leather edition for $54. And if it's indexed, it would be $64. But these are great Bibles. I highly recommend them. Head out to your local bookstore and see if you can get it. And if they don't have it in the store, ask about ordering it. Because most locations will be able to order them for you. So I hope you enjoyed this review. And have a great day and a Merry Christmas.